civilpe.net. So what do we do with this? So now we can use this to calculate C, the depth to from the extreme compression fiber to the neutral axis of our beam. Um, from equation or from section 10271 of ACI 318, we get that A is equal to beta 1 times C. And beta 1 is a factor that relate, relates the depth of the Whitney stress block to the depth of the neutral axis based on the concrete strength. ACI 318 states under 10.2.7.3 that for F'C prime between 2500 and 4000 psi, beta 1 shall be taken as 0.85. For F'C prime above 4000 psi, beta 1 shall be reduced linearly at a rate of 0.05 for each 1000 psi of strength in excess of 4000 psi, but beta 1 shall not be taken less than 0.65. That's a lot of words, but basically that comes down to this equation. 0.65 is less than or equal to 0.85 minus F prime C minus 4,000 PSI over 1,000 times 0.05, less than or equal to 0.65. So for our situation, we've got 6,000 PSI concrete, and we calculate a beta 1 of 0.75. Um, one quick error, I just noticed that this 0.65 is actually 0 0.85. 0 0.85 is the maximum for F prime C. I apologize and I will change that for the slides that are going to be posted for you to download. Okay, so we've got beta 1 now. Now we must use beta 1 and the A that we calculated to figure out the, um, that C is equal to A over beta 1, which is equal to 1.725 inches. So with C, we can actually calculate that strain in that steel and hopefully um, verify our assumption that the steel yields. So we'll use similar triangles. And the way we do this is with similar triangles, we know that 0.003 divided by C is equal to the strain in the steel plus 0.003, this huge triangle, divided by D. And you'll see the equation is the other way around, but that's the exact same equation. So for this equation, we're showing that C over the, um, the strain in the concrete is equal to D over the strain in the concrete plus the strain in the steel. So now we substitute everything we know, and we come out with a strain in our steel equal to 0 0.0346. Um, I don't have any units on this. Some people say inches per inch for units, um, but it basically comes out to no units whatsoever. So what does that tell us? First, we're going to determine the strain at which the steel yields. Um, Young's modulus, we know from basic mechanics classes, is equal to the stress in the steel divided by the strain in the steel. So for the state at which steel yields, we know that the stress is 60 KSI. So we need to solve for the strain at which steel yields um, using 60 KSI. Now for Young's modulus, um, it's generally taken as 29,000 KSI for steel. Sometimes you'll see it at 28,500, but for the most part, it's assumed to be 29,000 KSI. Um, F sub Y is the steel yield stress, and then epsilon sub Y is the steel yield strain. So substituting everything we know, we solve for the yield strain of steel. It's equal to 60 KSI divided by 29,000 KSI, and we get 0 0.00207, which is much less than the steel strain that we calculated at as 0.03. Four, six. Therefore, our assumption is valid, and that steel yields, and we can use the steel stress as 60 KSI, which is the steel yield stress. So now we need to determine if this section is considered tension controlled by ACI. Uh, per ACI section 1034, a beam is considered tension controlled if the strain is greater than 0 0.005. And as you can see, we've got our strain at 0 0.0346. So it's much greater than the strain of 0 0.005. Therefore, this beam section is considered tension controlled. What does that mean? That means we can use a phi factor of 0.9 per ACI. So now, let's determine if the beam section satisfies the minimum steel requirements of ACI. ACI section 1051 gives minimum steel requirements. These um, minimum steel requirements are basically to ensure that if concrete cracks, it's not going to immediately fail. And it, it, we want to make sure that um, that the steel, yeah, it yields and stresses, but we don't want it to actually break. Um, so 1051 provides that the minimum steel is equal to three times the square root of F prime C divided by F sub Y times 
the width of our beam web times the depth d. This has to be greater than or equal to 200 over f sub y times the width of our beam web times d. As a side note, that 200 over f sub y, basically if you set that equal to 3 square root f prime c over f sub y, you'll find out that that 200 over f sub y will control when you have a concrete stress a little less than 4,500 psi approximately. It comes out to be like 4,444 psi. But basically anything less than 4,500 psi, you're going to want to check that too. So in our case, we calculate a sub a sub s min, and we get that we need a minimum area of steel of 1.01 inches squared. Now luckily we have 1.32 inches squared, which is greater than that 1.01, so we've satisfied this minimum steel requirement of ACI.